Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel. I post new K-pop reaction videos here almost every single day, so if you like this video and you want to see more videos just like this, so make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Check out some other stuff on the channel. Today, I'm very excited. I'm going to be checking out uh, the title track, sort of, um, promoted track, whatever, from Ravi's uh, second mixtape, or not his second mixtape, his second in the Nirvana series, I believe he had other mixtapes before this, um, it's called Still Nirvana, off of Nirvana 2, um, this is featuring Haun and Zydo, I'm not familiar with Zydo, um, it's produced by Puff, which is a name that I also am not familiar with, but you guys know, um, I've seen only a couple of Vic songs, and I'm a big fan already, um, and then I've seen Ravi pop up in various collab and solo projects, and I've been pretty impressed with everything, um, with the exception, actually, of the pre-debut, or the pre-release song for this album, um, which was featuring Solar. I liked Solar's bit, um, I just really disliked the auto-tune and processing on Ravi's voice. I think, like, one of the things that's most compelling about Ravi, other than his competency as a rapper and vocalist, it's just how cool his voice sounds whenever he's singing or rapping. And he basically removed that ability from himself for some reason with, like, weird generic auto-tune on... Oh, what was the name of that track? Jaguar or something like that? Um, and so I was not a... F That's my least favorite thing that I've seen Ravi involved with. So it makes me a little bit nervous for this, but also I'm always excited because Ravi's fantastic. I hope, hope, hope I get to actually hear his voice being his voice. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this. Oh, apologies, I didn't get to this last night, right when it dropped. Typically, you guys know, with new releases, I like to jump on it, like, within the hour, if possible. However, uh, I don't get much sleep, and, uh, I fell asleep early last night, and I'm not gonna set an alarm if I'm gonna fall asleep early, because I don't sleep much anyway, so I take it where I can get it. Here we go. Still in their so you see, every day, every week, every month, and every year of my life... My hero's always 10 years away. I'm never going to be my hero. I'm not going to attain that. I know I'm not. And that's just fine with me because that keeps me with somebody to keep on chasing. I go dream of a lover, the dream again, baby. Already more of his voice. Already. I mean, it's, it's pretty processed, but it's already... Yeah, I already like it more than the other song, I think. Yeah. Nice tropical, like, housey type beat here. Interesting saturation on the colors. Everything is really cold. Kind of washed out. Oh, those chords. <laughs> His voice is so cool. This is, um, this is a nice, like, chill vibe type track. Good. This is really good. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, that beat switch up. Ooh, the flows. Ooh, how pop off. That could be. I don't think that's Robbie. It sounds like a town. Oh, that rappers was disgusting. That was so good. Oh, 
and I loved, like I said, the beat switched up massively. They brought in like some extra 808s and dropped out the trap hi hats. Then we get like an actual Robbie verse here too, which is cool. Well, that production, the way it dropped back, and it's almost like echoey now. This is a fun chorus, not gonna lie. I'm feeling it. Cool color stuff on the video. It's very artistic. Pretty vocals too. End it with the uh, ocean sample, huh? Still Nirvana. That it is. It is still Nirvana. This is very, 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 very good. Um, this is what I was kind of looking for from the last track, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, I'd never heard any of Ravi's solo music, really. Um, like, I think maybe one song um, before the pre-release for this came out. Um, and, like, this is, I guess, what I was expecting that song to be where... But, like, this is fantastic. I really, really, really like this. The vocal and the rap features were very, very good. Ravi got a verse, plus he got to do his just incredibly cool-sounding singing on the hook, um, on some of the bridge stuff. The production, Puff absolutely nailed that. I'm not sure if anybody else helped with that. It just says Puff as credit. Um, don't know who Puff is, but... This was well, very well produced, the way they introduced different samples. Completely switched up the beat for the rap verse. Like, they left some elements, but completely dropped the, the trap elements and brought in, like, some really deep 808s, which was very cool. Um, and then just the little touches with, like, the echoey stuff. This was very good. This was fantastic. This makes me probably want to listen to his mixtape now. Um, I probably won't do a reaction for that. Um... But I am going to definitely listen to it, and I'm excited. So I'm really glad that I like this. Like I said, I got a little nervous after the pre-release track. Um, this is definitely very, very, very good. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just chalk that up to the only thing Ravi's done that I don't like so far. And uh, I love this one. So as always, guys, I want to know your thoughts and feelings on Still Nirvana. Um, how did you feel about Ravi on this track? How did you feel about the production? Did you like the MV? Um, how do you feel about the features? Um, yeah. Also, if you've listened to the mixtape yet, how do you like the mixtape? How does it stack up to this song? Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. My name is the Newbie Warrior. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And please remember to stay newbie.